So it's early in the morning, very early in the morning. And um, you know, as a single parent, we rely, we rely on daycare and school, of course. We plan, we think, okay, I've got to do a million things. I'm going to run errands. I'm going to drop the kids. And then uh, all plans square. But sometimes those plans don't work out as we want it. So like today, yesterday I got a phone call from the daycare saying, yeah, you know, my Bella's class, you know, most of them were sick. So they wanted me to pick up my child as early as possible. And I have to wait for 24 hours. So meaning she can go to daycare tomorrow. Man, so that really caught me off guard. So that means today I have to do everything I can yes to work run errands and have my little one so I'm gonna show you uh, get plans well change or unexpected calls for my kids what we do so you're gonna see how I really enjoy my kid well what I do with Bella when I have no daycare yep so let's go wake her up so she can have breakfast right well my other kids have already gone to school so they go to school early you know anthony gets up at 4 45 he has to get a bath at early in the morning and the other little ones too so they are already gone so now i can breathe and take care of one so let me go get him her ready uh and just see you know show you just what, what the day goes by what we get to do but also the joy of parenting unexpected plans that come when you they know when they will Need some food, so let's go get some food for you before we get home. Okay, you ready to eat? Okay, all right, have your morning and have your morning. Okay, enjoy. Someone is awake. Someone is awake. Morning. How are you? How are you? Someone is there in bed, already up, right? You ready to go party? Yeah. Today you got Papa? Just me and you. Okay. Still awake? Not sure. Yes. You ready? Okay. Let's go have breakfast. Mm, did you sleep well? Still asleep. Some days she sleeps in for a little longer. So today is that day when she stays in bed a little longer than normal. Mm -hmm. Breakfast is ready, breakfast is ready. Today is proper day. It's that time, it's a diaper time. Diaper time. Stay, stay, stay. We're gonna clean, right? We're gonna do the job, right? You ready? You ready? I know, nothing smelly, so I'm okay. I've got used to this whole thing. Yes. <gasps> Did you sleep well? Today you just have me. No daycare, no daycare. Okay, no daycare. Mm. <laughs> My best friends, you ready? You ready? Okay. Dressing up. Oh yes. Someone is ready to party. Ready to rumble. Okay. Let's get this off. Let's get this off. Uh oh. You ready for breakfast? You ready for breakfast? No, 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 no. Ready for breakfast? This has, oh, you see your favorite pants? No, let's go eat. She usually takes, uh, you know, like, you know, four ounces of milk in the morning before she gets her breakfast. And her favorite breakfast is a waffle, you know, with little honey uh, and uh, peanut butter. You know, a little protein for her. So it's always fun to wake up in the morning and, and do all this. I mean, if you had asked me 10 years ago, five years ago, even a year ago that, would you be having a toddler? I would say no. But with false care, you just never know. You never know. And I've come, you know, I've, along the way that I think some of us come, you know, we came to false care saying, I want a child between this age and this age. And then realize like, wait a minute, you know, the more boundaries I put or the more description, you know, the harder it is that every child needs truly a home. And if you have it, you know, I never thought I would have a teen. Well, I have two. Never thought I would have a toddler. Yes, I do. So going in with open mind, uh, it really helps, you know, to know that every child needs help and needs, need, you know, needs a parent and need, needs a safe home. And, and that's really been a joy for me. So a little milk will make her day. You know, giving her milk in her seat, it's a little easier for me. So she's in one place, so I'm able uh, uh, to run around as a single parent, you know. Uh, otherwise, he will be, she will be following me everywhere I go. But being in the seat here really helps her to have what she needs, and I'm able to function as well.
All right, enjoy your milk, right? Right, baby. Here's a little breakfast. I get to put a little uh, syrup to make it yummy. And then I get to peanut and butter. So in that way, we're gonna have a long day, a full day of running and walking and walking. So this will serve her well. And then I get to cut into mm, small pieces for her to enjoy and bite. Well, Rafiki is always there waiting for the crumbs. Or oh, sometimes when someone is done, they throw away the food for the dogs, right? So there she is. She is so good at feeding herself, which I like so much. So she gets to eat, feed herself while I go to do something else. All right, enjoy. Enjoy. You beggars always begging, huh? You're waiting for her crumbs, right? Mm, I see. You're waiting for her to throw food away, huh? So when you have that many kids that go to different schools, you have no idea how often they get sick or the germs they bring home. So for me, this is what I this is how I do my breakfast. You know, usually uh, I take tea. You know, so I take tea and um, as a way to keep healthy, uh, I do my morning routine with a cup of tea. I put one spoon of honey in my tea, one spoon of honey, and I use raw honey. And then I take um, one lemon. It's the best natural way that I try to keep myself from getting sick. Like right now, I mean, they sent her home, so I'm with her the whole day. So how do I take care of myself without having to take medication? Well, lemon and tea helps me. And here it helps lose weight. I need to lose some weight, seriously. Well, when you have that many kids, there's no time to go work out. You always eat their leftovers because you didn't make it good enough or enough food. So you eat all their junks after they're done. Why? Because I grew up never having enough food. So to throw away food, just really tough for me, you know? So sometimes I try to keep it home or eat as much as I can, which is not a good idea. But growing up poor, that is the hardest part. Being a parent of kids who, you know, won't finish their food. Even sometimes they put so little, but they're like, I don't want to eat it, you know? To me, to throw it away is very hard. So anyway, so this is how I make my tea every morning before I eat anything. So I will not eat for the next couple hours and then I will have something to eat. So that's how I enjoy my tea and I love it. It just keeps me healthy, right? I hope so. So anyway, back to my kid. Yes, Papa, are you done? Yeah. Oh no, you done? That means she's fully awake. When you hear her talking, that means I'm ready to go. I'm awake. Well, well, well. Here we go. You ready to walk the dogs? You ready? We're gonna take Simba and Rafiki for a walk. They're gonna pee. It's like walk, stand, stop. Okay. You see the neighbors? It's quite something walking with the dogs, right? They stop, they walk. They stop, they walk. Simba, come on. So usually I get to do this by myself. Easy to walk the dogs without, you know, having to push the baby. But also, <laughs> we have to stop, go stopping, go stopping. So it's quite fun, but it's something. Usually it takes me about 20 minutes, but it will take me about 40 minutes because we have to stop, walk, stop. And then the baby, and then the strolling, and then, you know, it's on and on, but it's fun. So we try to put it on. Otherwise I can't leave her by herself at the house unless she was taking a nap, but it's not nap time yet it's morning and the dogs have to put in their walk so that's what we're doing right now but walk stop stop walk poop pick up the poop gosh we love our dogs but taking care of them whew, it's fine really fine ah, ah. Ah, ah. what do you say okay time to go let's go come on bella what are you doing you're helping come on let's go so since I can't go to the gym or go running, this is the best way we get to practice. We get to take a walk, right? The dogs, they get to, they're tired. So today I have her, that means plan change. But we always make it work. We always find substitutes or other things to do. So I can go do most things I would like to do right now, but I'll find other things to do. So parenting, yes, we try to do things on a whip, you know? So that's my little exercise, but I'm excited I have her for the whole day. It's bonding time as well, so I'm not complaining. It's just bonding time. But I'm trying to show you what I get to do or things I have to change just so I can take care of her when the daycare says, 
Not today. Yeah, not today. So we're home, so we're gonna go do some work. So I created the dining as the playroom so the kids can have a place to play. So she's there. So while I'm printing out some things and working, playing in a messy uh, play place, as you can see, it's everywhere. But it gives me the opportunity for our kids to have a place to play. But also they're a little bit, a few feet from me. So I can know what's happening. I can tell what they're doing. I can even smell. Yep, I can even smell diapers. So someone is out there owning the business. <laughs> Yes. So, uh, all right, can I go do some shipping, right, please? Yep, okay, time to go play. For someone, not me. Oh boy, who is sweeping, you know? Were you trying to clean for me? Oh dear. Okay, you're cleaning, huh? Okay, have fun. Have fun. So as you guys know, that my book came out. So most time, you know, if people don't buy it on Amazon, they buy it from my our website. Uh, now I'm not. So I have to sign them because I have to send them sign. So I have to sign them and then uh, I ship them. So right now, while she's playing, I'm gonna sign a few because we have to go to the post office. Hoping she doesn't show up. Uh oh. Did it? How are you? Hi Bella. Did it? She's already here. So. I'm hoping she's playing over there. But I'm determined. Oh, where are you going? What, now you want me to hold you? Madam, what, what, what? Okay, 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 what do you need? You want me to change diapers? Ah, yes, yes, yes. So we done, someone's new. Now you're all clean, right? You're all clean, right? Yes. Let's see. Pants ready. Pants ready. Uh oh. Beautiful girl. Now you're all clean, ready to go play. You ready to go to play? Come on, play time. Try again later. Let's get to. Mm. Let's so, her being there helps me to do some work. So, that's kind of how I get to do a little work while she's having a snack and playing her toys. You know, so I like this park and play, whatever you call it, because it gives me maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, but it gives me the opportunity to do some work. So lady is right there having a snack, right? Yes, no, no, yes. But at least I get to, to observe her and, and do other things as well. So here's how I get a break. Well, sometimes it's, you know, when she's busy playing in the uh, play place with all the toys, it gives me time to do something else. Oh when she's napping. So she will get to nap and I get to do whatever I can do as quickly as possible. Her nap's valid. Sometimes, you know, it's 20 minutes, 40 minutes, or sometimes an hour and a half, which is good. But this time, I'm not sure how much she's gonna give me, but I'm gonna wing it. You know, I'm gonna wing it. That whatever time she gives me, I'm gonna do the best I can to do all that I need to do. Send emails. Answer every phone calls, make all the appointments for the kids, check whatever email I need to, re to need to reply to, or sign my books and make sure they are packages ready to go to the post office. That's what I'm hoping to do while she's sleeping. We'll see how far that will go. So we just went for a nap. I'm not sure for how long, but let's hope. She stays there for at least 40 minutes. I mean, even 20, I'll be able to do something. So she's taking a nap, but we'll see how long. Mm -hmm. So I think someone is awake. I can hear the cries. You know, she gave me 45 minutes. Yay, 45 minutes. Hey. Oh, you awake? Okay, you ready to go? Oh, yes. Uh, you happy to see Papa? Ooh, someone is awake. Someone is awake. Ooh. You really have a snack? Ooh. But thank you for napping so I can, Papa can do some work. Got to do accomplish something. Someone is eating their lunch. Ooh la 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 la. What are you having? Ooh, vegetables and mac and cheese. What do you think? Do you like it? Ooh, you like it, right? Ooh, someone likes it. We try the spoons. The spoons don't work. Or we throw away the spoon, right? Prefer to use your hands. Just your like, just like your African dad. I prefer my, uh -uh. I prefer my fingers than spoons. But we have to train you. We gotta train you how to use your spoon. I'll go get a spoon for you. I'll go try one. Let's see. You like a spoon? Like to try a spoon? Okay, you wanna use a spoon? You got this. Go girl. Yes, way to go. 
Proud of you, lady. Lady Bella, you dig in. Ooh, ah, look at that. I'm proud of you. When we finish eating, this is what we do. Lady, lady, oh my goodness. What just happened? Oh, now you're eating from there? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What's in there? Uh-oh. <laughs> Girl, you are so clean. I mean, absolutely clean. Whoa. Yes. I know, you tell me. Oh boy, this is clean, I mean. Extra work for papa, huh? Oh boy. We are learning, right? Uh-oh, let's throw. One. One. Okay, do that. Two. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Good job, keep going. Good job, keep going. One more time, one more time, yeah? One more time, one more time. Three, what do we say? One, two. Can you count? One, no. Uh-oh, -uh. keep the ball. Yes, you scored, you scored. So you have to hit the ball in here. Uh-oh. Yep, yep, someone's winning. My old age is catching up, you know? Being on the floor with her, it's fun for her, for sure. But my back is like saying, ow, 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 you know? Okay, you winning? Throw in the ball, throw the ball in, throw the ball. It's working. You are? We just love to create a mess every time. Always. Now we're singing. Yeah, la, 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 yeah, la, 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 la. Da, da. Can you say da, da? Da, da, daddy. Daddy, you're learning to speak. It's taking a little while, but we'll get there. Yes, you're winning. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, throw that in, too. One. You're almost there. Throw in something else. Two. Three. Four. That's four. Five. Well done, well done. So I try to do everything I can to stay in the house, but that can't happen. I have to, you know, go to the post office, but also I have to go shopping as well. So I have to prepare all that. And it's nice to take her with me, you know, though sometimes it can be really a challenge, you know, but we try all we can to make sure that we do what we need to do. I need to go to the post office, I need to get milk, and I need to get some things or drop some things or pick up medicine somewhere. So she's coming with me, you know? Well, thank God for drive throughs you know? The, you know, most places, oh, I, I, she doesn't have to come out of the car, but I have to drive through. Though it takes longer, but it's worth it. So that's how today we survived or we going to survive no matter what. It's truly a joy to be a parent. The reason why I have to do all this because my kids, my other kids come home by four. So I want to make sure I'm home by the time they get. By the time we do all this. So it's fun and I'm going to do it. And I promise, yes, it's always fun. But it's always going to be stressful sometimes. But we're going to do it. Me and Bella, we're going to run and do that for sure. So me and my little ones, we are at the post office to drop off books. Right? Right, girl? Thank you for being the best help I can say. We got to help her. It's my little girl. Post office, we come every day. I mean, literally, we pass here every day because we ship and we're grateful for you for who are buying books. Seriously, love it very much. Post office. Are you ready to go with me? Huh? What do we need? What do we need with those city legs it's warm today so you lay them out huh yeah. thank you for helping me ship things for people right yeah. yes good job girl teamwork yay so we need some milk we ran out of milk so quickly so we came for milk before the kids come to school so i had to come with my minion as you can tell where is my minion somewhere so because i don't want to Yes, you're happy to come with me? Yeah. All the kids, so before they come, I know we need yeah. milk, which is important. Yeah. Yes, we need some bananas. Not for now, for later. For later, miss. My kids can eat bananas like crazy. Yes. What? You ready? Everything Valentine. Oh my goodness. It's everywhere. Everywhere. Gosh. What can we go away from Valentine? What do you think? You see? Valentine everywhere. You want some balloons? Everyone is having Valentine, I think. What do you think? Yeah? Maybe I should get some pizza? Yeah? Ooh, what do you think? Look at the flowers. Look. You want some Valentine? Yeah? While we're here, we're getting a pizza, you know? Do all in one. Yes. You want some pizza? Yes. I know. Yes. 
Let's come and get our favorite, right? Milk. Milk is our number one favorite thing that we have to get all the time. I know, I hear you. Digga, 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 digga. What do you say? What that? What that? What do you say? You like that? So we got something, right? We got all we needed. You ready to go home? Yep, we got all we needed. Time to get in the car. I even got myself a coffee. Yes, a coffee. You ready to go? So, with no hiccups, we got everything we needed. I even got myself a cup of coffee. Yes, a cup of coffee, and I got dinner, and I'm ready to go pick up the kids from school, you know? So, we survived the day, and it's been really good. So, <laughs> you can see just how you, anyone can make it, you know, that, yes, I wasn't prepared to have my little one with me. That means I had to do less, but it works. Like, you always find a way on how it works. And that's something I had to learn as a false parent, like, unpredictable, you know, being a false parent parents like there's nothing you can plan you know sometimes you you know you plan and then last minute again something I've learned to be adjustable flexible and also low expectations not sure why but it always works you know I never know when the phone call is gonna come from school saying your kid is not feeling well can you get come and get the child you're like the child left well what 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 well, they say the kid wasn't feeling well. Well, the whole class wasn't feeling well. But we've not had an issue the whole day. So hopefully tomorrow they will allow me to take her back to daycare so I can survive at least one day. Tomorrow, one day. Yes, right? You ready to go home? Yeah, she said yes. So Papa is ready to go home too. What? She speaks French and I'm still learning her French. But anyway, I hope you enjoy just seeing what it takes. Um, when your plans have really uh, been screwed up. And as a, as a seeing, you know, I am, I am really, really have respect for seeing my parents. Like, how do you do? You know, for me, it's not like I have, you know, another person can say, hey, can you chip in, help? No, do it all myself. So kudos to all moms. I mean, moms, kudos for doing all this, especially single moms. So you're teaching me a lot and I'm learning too. So what a blessing. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing my unpredictable day. How I get to spend time with Bella, my little toddler. See you next week.